Hi guys from FIBO 2018. I'm so thankful and glad to have the opportunity to talk with my favorite bodybuilder, most favorite bodybuilder, Cedric McMillan, because he's also a tall guy and I know how it is hard to gain that muscles on such a tall body. And I also would like to congratulate you to your successes in the bodybuilding. And I want you to win Mr. Olympia because I truly believe that you have all the abilities and possibilities and everything to win the show because your body is just deserve that. So. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, I don't think I've ever been to your country before. Uh, I hope to, I hope to make it there eventually in my travels. Um, you come to FIBO every year. I think this is the sixth year, um, and it just gets better and better. You know. Um, the show seems to get bigger and bigger, more and more people. Um, and, I, and I like this time because this is one of my favorite times uh, of doing any type of work, bodybuilding related, because this is when you get to meet the people, you know. Um, you know, you have people on social media, stuff like that, that follow you. But um, being able to meet the people, you know, in person um, that support you and people that maybe didn't even know you before see you and you know, they support you afterwards. Yes, it's really good to have that face-to-face -face contact. So this is one of my favorite parts of uh, doing this sport, meeting the people, yeah. Where we can see you the next contest and how your preparation looks like now? Yeah, well, I'll be doing the Toronto Pro uh, in June. And uh, basically what I wanted to do was, uh, I seen some, some things that I wanted to improve on my physique from the Arnold Classic. And uh, just to where, you know, which I've always wanted, just some good comparisons. If I can get some good comparisons uh, where I can be, you know, looking my best and see how I look against their best, then I can judge my body and determine what I need to work on. Um, so I uh, had that opportunity in Ohio. So, but, you know, I'm not the type that I just want to wait until the Olympia waste the whole year. You know, your whole year is gone and you get 30 seconds on stage, you know. So I wanted an opportunity to compete, you know, implementing some, some changes uh, to try to make some improvements to my body. So, uh, yeah, so which really for me, I always have to have a balance between bring my body down enough to have the condition. But usually when I get enough condition, I'm really flat. And they say, oh, well, you should just eat. But that doesn't work, you know. It takes maybe five days or six days for my body to fill out, you know? When you're dehydrated and trying to eat, it seems like the food doesn't go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. So then I tried the route of, well, try to come in full, you know, come in full and just, and just dehydrate from there, you know? So it's always trying to find a good balance. But from this show in Ohio, you know, I seen where I just plain need to have a little bit more muscle, a little bit more muscle fullness, you know? Uh, and I think if I focus on having enough mass, eating to maintain the mass, and um, burn the body fat with the cardio, you know, try that little manipulation, and um, you know, you well, see, there, there's times I've done three hours of cardio a day. That's time, you know, two hours of cardio a day was normal for me, even when I was working full time as a soldier. I, I did two hours of cardio, you know, but I'm trying to do less. A few shows I did less because trying to. You know, come come in bigger, right? But then the conditioning maybe not the same. So you gotta, you just gotta find the right balance of everything. Uh, and, and you know, the equalizers just take more shit. You know, yeah. But but that is, you know, there's consequences behind that too. So I want to try to take my body as far as I can, the safest way possible. You know, and uh, hopefully look good along the way. You know, so you know, you know, there'll be times where I'm down on myself or I don't really like. You know how I look. Um, I really uh, feel like I let people down with a bad placing. But um, then somebody like you, when you say, "Oh, you know, you're my favorite," you know, even when I'm getting beat, that means a lot. You know, I would much rather lose and the people like me than to win and everybody hates me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would much rather be that guy that doesn't win, but everybody wants to look like because that's how I was when I was young. You know, there was Mr. Olympia, but then I wanted to look like those guys that wasn't Mr. Olympia because I like their bodies better, you know. So a lot of times, man, you know, people say, I would love for you to, for you to win Mr. Olympia, but you know, 
I'm not necessarily sure that that is it in the sport, you know. I think there's a whole lot more other work that can be done outside of that, you know, to try to uh, make the sport grow, bring more new people to the sport, you know. So I'm hoping I can get that job done, you know. I don't, I don't think I'll ever have a chance to win the Olympia, honestly. Uh, but I think I can, you know, I think I can try to help move the sport even still, you know. Definitely the guy people are looking to, and everyone says that uh, they are not these guys when they see you. They are overwhelmed, overwhelmed yeah. that this is how it should look. Yeah. So I wish you to continue this way, uh, to stay healthy and to achieve all, achieve all your goals yeah. in your life and sports and bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, something man. something you would like to say to our and your friends as well? Yeah, just, you know, to all of y'all, all, all we really need is your support, really. You know, um, we like winning, we don't like losing, but to have your support through it all is what's most important, you know. We have enough people saying negative stuff about us, talking shit about us, we have enough of that. So to have those people that love you no matter what, it's most important for us, and maybe sometimes we don't um, we don't mention that enough. Maybe sometimes we don't appreciate them enough, but they are important to us, you know. So, so for those people, we just, you know, on behalf of him and me, just say, just hang in there with us, keep cheering for us, and keep believing in us, you know. Because sometimes we don't even believe in ourselves, you know. But your energy is what helps keeps us going. So. Thank you very much, Cedric, for these nice and strong words. We're going to keep it in our minds. Thank you. Thanks, Wish you all the best. Take care.